Hey, Stukas, inbound! Me out of there! Hey, this is Chris with Talon Gaming. Welcome back for another video review. Today we're going to look at a game by Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software produced by Activision in 2017. That's right, Call of Duty World War II. This release of Call of Duty focuses on the actions of a single squad from the beaches of Normandy through the Western European theater all the way to the Rhine and into Germany. You play as Private First Class Ronald or Red Daniels of the 1st Infantry Division through the majority of the conflict while occasionally taking on the role of a handful of other characters. A first person shooter, the game consists of a single player campaign, Nazi zombies, online multiplayer co-op and PvP play as well as the ability to use a split screen. Uh, there's also a season pass available which includes more maps, new Nazi zombie missions as well as a bonus map. Although the season pass is a little pricey. Requirements are uh, quite modest for a modern title, You'll, but you will need at least 90 gigs of free storage for single player and another 90 gigs for multiplayer. It, it's huge. There are 11 missions set throughout World War II and iconic battles in various scenery. Storming the beaches of Normandy on D-Day, battling through the French countryside, fighting alongside English special operations units, liberating Paris from the German occupation, invading Germany, Saving civilians, wrestling through a German winter, fighting into the Ardennes, and back across the Rhine, even through a German POW camp. There's quite a variety of things to see here. Throughout most of the game, you'll be on foot, sometimes moving quietly to avoid attention from overwhelming forces, and then other times all out combat, using a variety of knives, explosives, guns, mounted weapons, and even vehicles. Vehicles in the game include a jeep, which you both drive and use the mounted gun. You can also use a tank with machine guns and with the main gun itself. You'll even fly a P-47 against the look. Throughout the game, there are frequent checkpoints, which act as a save game, preserving any progress made. This is a good thing because failure to stay in cover for any length of time during combat will make you thankful for these frequent checkpoints, as you will die quite quickly when out in the open. Thankfully, there's no reason to really fret over dying as you'll never lose more than a little bit of progress. As you see in war, death happens. Head down. A lot. During the game, you'll have the chance at saving those who you fight alongside. You'll be able to pull wounded soldiers to safety or kill Nazi aggressors who aim to kill your countrymen. From time to time, you'll also end up with hand-to-hand -hand combat. Interactive battles where you pound the F key and move the mouse to a certain place and hit another button. It's an interesting way to mix things up a little bit. And finally, each member of your squad has the ability to replenish your supplies during the course of battle. From grenades, smoke, enemy whereabouts, ammo and first aid, they've got your back. The textures, animations and gameplay are all top notch. The detail through and through are quite good. From the foliage, vehicles and buildings, even the muddy roads look damn near real. Cutscenes are very realistic in most cases and feel like you're watching a pre-rendered movie with extreme amounts of detail. Real actors were used here, at least to base the characters on. It helps to fill in the movie-like feel you see throughout much of the game. There are a few characters with a little less attention to detail when switching between live and pre-rendered scenes, but it's mostly a seamless transition and performs superbly for the most part. The sound effects are very realistic. The sounds often deafening and rattling the room with bass, which leads to a lot of immersion. Music is a great instrumental affair and feels very movie-like in its application. It doesn't interfere with the game in any way. Voice acting is fantastic. They use professional actors here, not sit-ins or staffers like we see in many other games. I'm impressed. Charlie's up shit creek and we're the paddle. Let's go! There's a plethora of backstory since this does take place during World War II. The game itself doesn't provide a huge amount of story, but the protagonist does have an ongoing dream slash flashbacks from his childhood, as well as his girlfriend back home. As the game progresses, you're presented with an ongoing commentary, helping to build the depth of each character and provide some sort of attachment and camaraderie between you and your team. The game kind of feels like an extended episode of Band of Brothers. In the game, you'll often be taking part in real world battles, such as the Invasion of Normandy, the Battle of the Bulge, and the Rhine, all cemented in real life history. For the most part, controls are simple and well laid out. The vehicle controls felt a little off and needing a bit of polish, but they're still quite fun. The airplane action felt a little sluggish and unresponsive, but the change of scenery was a welcome addition nonetheless. All in all, the gameplay was extremely fun. 
planting you firmly into the front lines of World War II and really making you feel like you're part of the action. Having a seat front and centre in a rough ride through history facing the terrible Nazi death machine is quite an experience. For those new to Call of Duty, the learning curve is quite low and easy for most anyone who's played any type of first person shooter before. A single player campaign does take about 7 hours to complete. Once you take into account all the multiplayer action available, there's quite a bit of game here for the dollar. But do keep in mind that the servers aren't busy like they once were. To anyone who's enjoyed a Call of Duty or Battlefield single player campaign, or is even a World War II buff with an itch to feel a part of history, this is a can't miss. The game plays phenomenally and all aspects of the presentation are fantastic. It's quite obvious that this was a big budget production, but the results speak for themselves. What you do find here, at least in the single player campaign, is a 7 hour movie in the style of Band of Brothers, with a mix of gameplay, pre-rendered scenes and scripted events. It's a very linear adventure, but one worth experiencing. This is no longer a new title, but it still looks and plays great. My advice is this, grab it while it's on sale, since you'll be mostly buying the game for the single player campaign, or playing with friends rather than online PvP. If you're looking for a multiplayer only experience, go ahead and download Call of Duty Warzone. I think you'll enjoy that more. As always, thanks for watching everyone. If you watch this far, show us a little love. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you. This is Chris from Talent Gaming, signing out.